Okay, hello guys, it is Calculator, and we are going to get back to Java game development. Now, uh, because my other ones aren't too great because of the quality, which ended up becoming the encoders, I decided to basically start again, this time in HD, or what should be HD. So, uh, we're just going to get started straight away. Uh, I'm thinking we'll go through some design first, which is always a, always a great idea. Uh, I'm thinking of a simple sort of jousting game because I've I've always been wanting to make a jousting game of medieval. So uh, is that even how you spell medieval? I don't know. I don't. I don't really know. I don't care. Medieval jousting game. So just basic story. Uh, Uh, yeah, you know, something really stupid. This doesn't matter, it just sounds cool. I could maybe put this in the uh, title page. Although, I don't know if I'm going to do that. Yeah, vicious. Can't spell vicious. There we go. Right, so, uh, here we go with a sort of adjusting game. So, what we're going to have is basically the same setup as last time. We're going to have our rendering, our update sprites, drawing to back buffer, rendering loop, which we'll go into later on. We'll probably just program it because I can't bother typing it. But basically, I, I'd like to do some with some physics, just because I've been doing physics at school for quite a while. So, uh, I think momentum is going to come into it. So, let's see. If, if we're jousting, right? So, we've got a horse coming along here. Now, this horse and man is going faster than this one, right? So we know that momentum is conserved. Well, in the absence of net forces, so we need faster horse, bigger knight. No, not bigger knight. Knights have to be the same weight to make it fair. Bigger lance mass. Bigger hip. We'll also put a sort of power bar in if I can work out how to do that, and it'll all look very cool. So, this is bringing some physics, and uh, as far as design goes, it doesn't really need much more than that. Well, it does, but <laughs> I really can't be bothered typing it. So, we're gonna have our classes. Better type out some classes, keep everyone happy. Got our uh, game canvas. Which is going to do all our drawing and stuff again. That what, what what we're going to do is we're going to make this abstract actually because that way we can reuse it again and again. So we'll have basic all the functions we had, but paint and update will be abstract. So then you can extend it from any anything. So say I have flying game extends game canvas. Then all I need to do is Right, two methods, paint and update, and I can paint and update whatever I like. Which is fine. Uh, we're going to have... What else are we going to have? Game canvas. Oh, the frame and stuff, but that's not important. We're going to need a character to hold the base stats of the character. We're going to need an enemy with randomized things, uh, stats going up the way. And uh well character actually if we do it character class and then player and enemy that way we can do that. And um, this time we're gonna use an enumeration I can't spell that very well. To store just levels and lance no yeah just levels and horse level stuff. I think no we're not no we're not that's a stupid idea you can tell I've not planned this I'm just bringing this up ahead so I think I'm going to leave it there and we'll come back and we'll start programming in the next video which should not be too far away and I'll see you then